Hey guys, welcome to re-review number 11. Um, today we have a special. This is my first custom uh, that I'm reviewing for the re-review. Um, not my very first custom ever, but I'll probably do a video of that one day, or I already have done. Uh, if you look down, it's an Undertaker one. Um, but this originally was a Sting uh, Mexican bootleg toy. Um, it had very pale skin. And uh, it had this luchador mask with Sting's face paint, painted right on top. Um, so basically the boots haven't changed. Uh, the gloves, I painted them to be fingerless, but unfortunately you can see the paint's coming off on this one. Uh, I did all the tattoos, not very goodly, but there you go. Um, I also did all the mask detail as well. And then my dad decided to help out and go over it for the second coat. And then it went over the Aztec symbol, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, I have to redo him again. Uh, articulation is the head, but with the paint, it's painted shut. Again, with the waist, it's all tight where the paint's been. Uh, but the head used to turn, uh, the arms turn, and it has the same articulation with the weird crotch angle. And then his boots spin. But he has the tight design. Um, we have the logos. The symbol, the 619, and the falcon. So, this is based off his Mexican attire, which is really cool. Uh, again, it's a pretty cool piece to have. Um, not everyone's got one, obviously. It's custom made from a bootleg figure, a Mexican sting, like I have already said. A really cool. Um, it's a cool talking piece as well. People are like, hey, what, what the hell? What, what kind of figure is that? Oh, this? This is a custom. <laughs> Um, and then obviously they think I've sculpted the whole thing and then I have to say no, it's, um, it's already, it was a bootleg from Mexico, which is still a cool figure by itself, but I like Rey Mysterio more than Sting, so Mysterio Superfan signing out, please like, sub, comment, bye.